we are going to review a an acid base neutralization lab. And we've got some calculations to do. And here we see we've got 0.1 molar sodium hydroxide and 0.05 molar sulfuric acid. So our strong base and our strong acid. Now the um, sodium the the Sulfuric acid dissociates to produce two hydrogen ions in solution. So the concentration of hydrogen ions from uh, sulfuric acid in solution will be double 0.05. It's 0 0.1 molar. And since the product of the concentration of H plus times concentration of OH minus is 10 to the minus 14, we can deduce 10 to the minus 1. This has to be 10 to the minus 13, the concentration of OH minus, 10 to the minus 13 molar. And with the concentration of H plus 10 to the minus 1, the pH must be 1. All right. Now, how many moles of pure sulfuric acid are in 800 mils, or 0 0.8 liters, of our 0.05 molar solution. Well, we know that uh, molarity equals moles over liters. So starting a new equation, we are asked the number of moles. So we rearrange our equation. Moles equals liters times molarity equals, what are our liters? 0 0.8 liters times the molarity. Now here I'm going to write that as moles per liter and our molarity is 0.05 molar so 0 0.05 moles per one liter and we can cancel these units, the liters, and we are able to calculate our moles of sulfuric acid. Now this question here, number three, is very similar. 500 mils, or we could call that 0 0.5 liters of our 0.1 molar solution. And ask how many grams of solid sodium hydroxide. So this is uh, grams, not moles. It's a two-part question. First, we'll take this information to get the moles, once again, moles equals liters times molarity equals 0 0.5 liters times our molarity, which is, uh, let's see, we want to get out of liters into moles, molarity, 0 0.1 moles per liter. Once again, liters cancels. This will give us our moles. But we're not done because we will then need to know the molar mass of sodium hydroxide. And that we can, of course, calculate from our periodic table. One sodium at 23.0 grams per mole plus one oxygen at 16.0 grams per mole plus hydrogen at 1.0 grams per mole. The balanced chemical equation, well, we're adding the acid and the base. So let's see. We've got the H2SO4, which is aqueous, plus, leaving space for a coefficient, NaOH, also aqueous, reacts to form. Now, in any acid-base reaction, the uh, and this is also a double neutral, double replacement reaction, the H plus will combine with the OH minus to give us our familiar H2O. And what's left over is the Na pluses and the sulfate ions, SO4 with a minus 2 charge, giving us Na2SO4, balancing the charges, which will be aqueous. It will be dissolved. And then we need to balance the equation. So let's see. We're going to need two sodiums here. And now I actually think it's balanced because we got the two H pluses and two OH minuses uh, 
making two H2O. There we go. Now that's balanced. All right. So if we neutralize, then the moles of H plus equals equals the moles of OH minus, and the pH is, of course, neutral, which is 7. If you use 20 mils, how many moles of sulfuric acid do you need? Show your calculations. So we're going to once again figure out the moles, and then we use so the moles of sodium hydroxide with the information we have here. And then we'll convert from moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of sulfuric acid using the mole ratio. Notice it's a 2 to 1 ratio. It's a 2 to 1 ratio. So um, that's, how, that's the stoichiometry using the mole ratio that we got from the balanced chemical equation. Finally, uh, the temperature rises. We're going to use the specific heat of water, so please just realize this is a Q equals MC delta T question, and our specific heat of water is one calorie per gram degree C, or if we wish to use joules, all it asks for joules, so that is 4.18 joules per gram degree C. And this reaction is releasing heat, so the, relax the reaction is exothermic, and the sign on delta H will be negative, meaning that energy has been released. Okay, so I hope this is of some help, and um, have a lovely evening.